Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking into Fallout 76, and I'm going to try and provide people with some helpful tips and tricks in the wastelands. So let's crack right on into the video. So one of the things that I am going to mention for a new player is you might actually find it difficult to find the resources to craft ammo and also find enough ammo to get you by. Now, I haven't played the new player experience for some years now, and I personally have far gone beyond the pain of ammo. But I do remember when I was experiencing the new player experience that ammo was one of the biggest issues. So there are a few things that you can do to help that out. One of them being getting a certain perk called Super Duper. That's over here in the luck department. What Super Duper does is when you craft anything, there is a 30% chance you will get double the results, which is just fantastic when you're trying to craft your ammo. Another perk to go for is Ammo Smith, which will produce 80% more rounds when crafting ammunition, which is also extremely fantastic. And the final one I want to show here, as I'm trying to not make this too overly complicated, or with all the things I want to talk about, is if we go to Legendary Perks, which is at the top, once you've unlocked this feature, I can't remember if you have to un unlock it or not, you will get, you can unlock Ammo Factory. Now I have it at four stars, produce 100% 100% more rounds when crafting ammunition. So one of the things I want to talk about, and just something to think about, while going around is buffs and consumables. There are quite a quite a few buffs and consumables in this game. And uh, as you can see here, I have a farm here, so I can craft myself some vegetable soups and things like that, that will aid me in combat, playing the game, surviving the wastelands. So if I look at my statistics here, you can see that I've just eaten a carrot soup a corn soup, and you can see the, 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 the bonuses here. Cranberry cobbler. Um, this one I can't do in my farm, but it's not too difficult to craft up and obtain the resources for. Tato juice, uh, mud fruit juice. So all these different juices and soups and things um, are providing me with bonuses. But also if you look down here at fully fed, because I'm fully fed, I also get maximum HP strength uh fully hydrated also gives me ap regeneration by 35 percent endurance by plus one which is very handy indeed uh so definitely some basic things to keep in mind and some some stuff to 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 uh think about so some things to think about with your card and your build okay uh, one of the most important things i personally think is to manage weight now there are a few cards that i will always have in every single build green thumb definitely not one of them <laughs> so one of the main ones i will have traveling pharmacy what does this do it reduces the weight of your chems and stim packs by 90 percent, which is flipping huge especially when you start collecting stim packs and your chems right you can just have them all on you you can go ham really, really handy. Always, 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 always have, always have. Um, I just can't take it off. There's, it's, it's literally impossible for me to take it off. Another one that I like to have is good with salt. Now, this doesn't basically, it doesn't reduce weight of anything or give you weight of anything. But what it will do is it will let your food last a bit longer which is also very nice. Now, remember with, with good with salt, you don't have to have it three stars. So if you need to put points in other things, if you really want to, you don't have to have good with salt as a one, as a three star. You can have it as a one star or two star, but it is nice to just have that extra bit of time on foods, um, especially when you're starting out and you're trying to manage everything. Another thing to have is a bandolier. Ballistic weapon ammo weighs 90% less huge just 
huge. And to complement that, we also have batteries included. Energy weapon ammo weighs 90% less. Now, obviously, if you're not using energy weapons, you don't need this. And if you're not using uh, ballistic weapons of any kind, you don't need bandoliers, right? So those two are definitely, definitely something you should have in your builds and definitely something to think about. Um, another thing to think about is bear arms. So bear arms is if you're using heavy guns, if you like your, um, if you like being in a suit, uh, heavy guns is definitely the way to go. And heavy gun, um, sorry, bear arms definitely helps a lot with uh, carrying those heavy guns. Especially if you don't have weight loss on your legendary perks. So these are just some basic things to think about when building and creating builds. And in my opinion, some of these are very, very important. For example, traveling pharmacy, that is an absolute must for me, right? Uh, if uh, let me show you. So right now I'm using 471 or 493, right? So if we just go back here, let's just take it off. Let's just see what happens when we take it off. <laughs> 1,502. Now I am carrying a ridiculous amount of um, chems and stuff on me. If we go to aid and stuff, you can just see the sheer amount of, you know, aid items, stuff we have going on here, especially the stim packs. We have a lot of them. Probably gonna have to sell these down here. Um, but yeah, we have a lot. So definitely definitely things to think about it just allows me to just spam my stim packs which i personally do especially in a bloodied build uh the reason i do that is because it has regenerative properties so you get a sort of heal over time and that heal over time whoops that heal over time is you know really important for a, <laughs> being a bloody build and not being in heavy armor um and that, that's another thing i'm not in heavy armor with this build I am using heavy guns without heavy armor. So uh, yeah, rather squishy, but we do big damage. So let's talk one star legendary rolls. This first section will be weapons and then we're gonna do armor. Now these are my personal, um, this is my personal opinion. Uh, you're all, everyone has their own opinion. And these are the ones that I think that people can look for and some mediocre choices too. So the first one, Anti-armor. Anti-armor is one of the best perks to have in the game. Definitely something to have on a weapon. It really helps with any creature with armor. For example, super mutants are a creature with armor. Uh, Earl, the world boss, almost mandatory that everyone has an anti-armor weapon for the Earl fight because it really, really benefits fighting him. Aristocrats, only useful if you're in trade, if you're making money, if you're making caps, you can get that nice juicy 50% damage. If you're not, then it's uh, it's crap, let's be honest. Uh, assassins, I skip that. Berserkers, I skip that. Bloodied, one of the best perks in the game uh, and provides the most amount of damage, period, out of anything. Damage increases up to 95% as your health decreases. This is why you see people with a bunch of rads, is to keep their health low for this bloodied effect. Um, we're gonna skip all this down to Furious. Furious, 5% damage after each consecutive hit on the same target, up to 45%. I personally think this is a great perk, especially if you're not going bloodied. Um, if you do get a Furious build and you're not a bloody build because bloody does require a lot of things to really get it going. Um, Furious is definitely an option you can look into. The next option that I'm going to look into, Juggernaut's definitely mediocre, 25% damage compared to the other options. But it, you just have to have, you know, full health really to have that. It's uh, just easy damage, I guess, if you don't want to think about it. Um, Medic, no, I'm going to skip that. We're going to go down to Quad. Quad is really 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 nice on certain weapons that inherently have big damage uh for example the railway railway rifles inherently do big damage now the downside is that one they have huge recoil which you can make up with for with vats and two their ammo capacity of 10 so this will give them 40 rounds which just allows you to send down a lot of pieces of wood into the enemy's face and do big damage uh, the next one I'm going to be looking at is Two Shot. Two Shot is extremely, extremely good, especially if you have explosive 
uh, rounds on your two star effect uh, because it, it just provides you with some decent damage but one of the big things is the the being able to tag things in events and that's what i love to have some really nice two-shot explosive weapons for it just allows me to spread some my damage at events and tag up a lot of stuff without killing it and then everyone else who's doing the event will also try to be killing stuff and tagging stuff and you just basically reap the rewards right it does cost a lot of ammo in my opinion to do this but you also you're investing into a lot more xp and a lot more loot vampires is really nice if you're struggling uh, to stay alive um it's nice to have a, a vampire weapon in your repertoire of of weaponry um i definitely have a couple things that i like to carry with me with vampires on it uh i i am a squishy boy so it is quite nice and that will be the one star effects to look out for especially as a new player because you haven't got anything um to keep in mind and everything else we're going to just script which i'll explain later so now we're going to be looking at the one star armor effect and just take note that this is just one star really what you want to be doing is getting three star but this is just to get you guys into the gist of legendaries and, and i'm not trying to make things overly complicated complicated geez that was difficult so let's have a look here and just remember that this is my personal opinion everyone has their own opinion i'm not saying that this is meta this is just the absolute way to go you know if you find something that's fun go for it all power to you so what i think here you can definitely look into is bolstering which gives you some resistances 35 energy resistance and damage resistance to lower your health which is really really nice if you're going a bloodied build another option you can look at is where is it overeaters overeaters gives you damage reduction six percent per piece of armor as you fill your hunger and thirst meter i have this on my excavator set i think excavator is the best armor in the game mainly because of the 200 weight you can obtain from wearing it so because just because of the 200 extra weight i get from it i do have overeaters to compensate for the the damage that i am um missing out on like damage reduction i'm missing out on from the other sets that provide me more resistances um to compensate for that and i have a full set it's absolutely amazing i mean you inherently get 42 percent damage reduction from just wearing the power armor chassis right just i think it's like 42 percent or something ridiculous like that maybe 47 i can't remember what it was fully i think it's 42 either way um it just adds to that i mean you you have such high damage reduction as it is does it really matter that you're taking even less i don't think so the next one to look into is unyielding now this my favorite armor perk period barn uh, gain up to plus three to all stats except endurance when you lower your health so this is obviously really 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 good if you are a bloodied build this is my current build is full set of unyielding and it is i just do lots of damage you have lots of experience it's just across the board more weight just across the board a lot of things you can get now if i'm not mistaken you cannot get this on power armor you can only get this on normal armor right so definitely if you're not going power armor set unyielding in my opinion best best thing to get if you're going a bloody build it just provides so many benefits to have another thing to look at is vanguards if you're going for uh, a, a non-bloody build grants up to 35 energy resistance and damage resistance the higher your health so this is really really nice if you're not going a bloody build and you just want that extra bit of tank and the rest of these we're scripting them i'm going to be honest with you uh some people like to do the cloak uh no not the cloak is it the here we go chameleon some people like to have a couple of chameleon uh pieces maybe a chameleon piece but i mean you do you uh i personally just don't really care for it as i just want to be sending down bullets and whatnot to my enemy so let's touch on legendary script really quickly a legendary script is it is a currency that you can find in your stat collection right at the bottom legendary script it doesn't weigh anything which is really nice because the actual item you're going to be trading your script for legendary modules do weigh some have some weight to it which i'll show you here in a second where to get those so what you do with your legendary roles that you're not happy with you take them to the legendary exchange terminal 
You can find these at any train station littered around the map with this icon. You can go to Nuka World on Tour, which is down at the bottom left corner of the map in this sort of nasty area. And you'll find some crafting stations over there, or you can go to the Rusty Pick, which is normally what I'll do. Head over to the Rusty Pick and you will find a terminal here. And the Rusty Pick also has crafting stations at the bottom, as well as a build changer thing. Um, so what you'll do with your script is you'll take it to the mole over here, the mole rat, open up the trade. You'll trade 50 for one legendary module. You're going to need roughly about four for three star legendary roles, which I highly re recommend you look into doing and building up your legendary repertoire if you're inclined and interested in doing so. So that's how you get that done. And that's going to conclude the video. I hope that these tips and tricks will help you guys in your journeys through the wastelands. I know some of these were slightly more end game, but I wanted to get give a broad perspective of certain things to look for when you get your first legendaries and so on and so forth. What what sort of things to look at as well as buffs, foods and consumables. There are a lot of other little tips and tricks out there to think about, but I wanted to make things pretty simple and straightforward with certain aspects to look into. Me and my wife on the day of recording, uh, sorry, of the day of releasing this video, we'll be doing a couple of hours of streaming. We're going to be starting out some new characters, testing out the new player experience in Fallout 76. So if you're about and you're interested, you can catch me on Mr. Glotch on Twitch uh, for that little fun experience. I hope you all have a beautiful time watching this video and having a, a great day, evening, whatever it is. And cheers for joining me. See you on the next one.